Welcome to another video from Loyalty and Honour Publishing. One of the questions I'm often asked is regarding the veterans I met. I have been lucky enough, like others, to attend reunions of the Walking SS and meet with hundreds of veterans who served in pretty much all of the divisions that made up the ranks of the Walking SS. This book here is something I've done for myself to allow me to talk through with some people the various veterans that I met. Each of these veterans have allowed me to learn more about the history of the Waffen SS, but from the mouths of those that created the history that we all like to read about. That is an invaluable source and one that adds a depth of richness that you cannot obtain from archives or documents. It is essential for any historian, where possible, to be able to interview veterans and get a view for what life was like on the ground as each of these large and tumultuous battles were taking place. I have been lucky enough to meet people from divisional commander, regimental commander, battalion level, company commander, and of course, to the individual soldiers, right down to the rank of private. Each one of them had varying lengths of service. Here we see various men, um, from grenadier through to Hauptsturmfuhrer. These first initial pages cover the men of the Leibs and Daughter that I met, including the historian Ralph Tiemann, some of the well-known faces like Hans Sittroth, Rahash Misch, Otto Guncher, Hitler's bodyguard, on through to some of the later war individuals such as Helmut Mercer. And we go on to the men of the Das Reich Division, Fritz Laganka, Barkman, Karl-Heinz Bosco, Totenkopf, some very, very, very interesting men, one being Johannes Megasher, who fought in Demyansk and received one of the very rare awards direct from Adolf Hitler. More men from Tottenkopf. On through to Polizei, Viking, Eberhard Herder, Karl Nikolusi Lech. More of the Viking individuals. And we have some Nord, Prince Eugen. Florian Geyer, and through to Hornstaff and Frunsberg, Nordland. Some of these men, of course, did not start out in Nordland, but started out in some of the younger divisions of the Waffen SS early war, Eberhard Janke, Edward Janke being one of those who initially served with Das Reich. Then on to the 12th SS, Hans Siegel, some of the men that fought around the Abbey Orden. Here we see the well known Otto Funk. Some Hanschar men on through to Reichsführer SS, Gothenburg Lickingen, the wonderful Max Wind, who was a mind of information, on through to some of the foreign volunteers. We have Heinrich Zunner from Horst Vessel and uh, some of the Estonian men, on through to uh, Netherland, Hunyadi, Langemark, here we have Remy Schrinen. Moving on through to Wallonian, Italian, Charlemagne, and the end of the war formations such as Lutzau and Nibelungen. Each one of these men provided a varying degree of detail that is all fed into every one of the titles were relevant that you read from Loyalty and Honour publications. Here we see a rare opportunity to meet with and was able to interview the wife of Michael Whitman. This was at Le Cam, at the site of his grave. I interviewed her later, later the same day. Here's some of the heavy tank individuals from 501, 502, and of course 503. And the Waffen SS men are not the only veterans I've been lucky enough to meet. Here we see some of the Wehrmacht and Fallschirmjäger Mega veterans. And of course Luftwaffe as well. I can guarantee you that every one of these men has helped deeply my understanding of that conflict and I hope that each of the publications that you see and read allow you also to increase your understanding of that conflict with excerpts of course direct from those that made the history we like to read about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.